Okay, here we are again at 7185 North Plum, and I'm just fixing to go inside the house, but I wanted to show you this now that the other family has left. Here's your driveway, and you can see the crack all the way down to the road comes across this main piece over there. There's another one on the next section. So, you know, you could be concerned about that or not. But again, this is house is built in 1989. So this concrete driveway is nearing its lifespan. Now these can be patched and sealed and then stained over and made to look really nice. You can even put an overlay over this driveway of tile, which would look nice, but you do have cracking. And then you come in here to this front entry. This has been stained, kind of a battleship blue, uh, but it needs it needs to be restained. Probably a good pressure washing and restained. Then you come in, they have a little Screened in front porch, probably six by five. Here is that pebble tech, okay? And this fits right in with the 1989 house. That was very popular back then. Uh, this is kind of dingy. It needs a pressure washing. This actually should have a clear coat, like an acrylic over the top, like a nail polish that fills in all the gaps and keeps the luster. So that's long since gone, so that needs to be updated. Or some people don't like the way this looks, and this would need to be covered with tile or something. So essentially this is like fish tank gravel, okay? Now, the front door, screen porch. This is worn out. The handle's busted off. The screening's loose. So, just like the outside of the house bear with me here as i shut this door you know it looks like to me it's been lacking in repair you have the original front doors double doors these are not hurricane rated and they swing in the newer doors all swing out since hurricane charlie okay so let's go ahead and see what we've got inside. We've got new laminate flooring in the house, new carpet. As you walk in the main entry here, nice clean paint, taupe color. Here's one thing that I see right away with this new laminate flooring is new molding. And they've put quarter round on top of three inch molding, which means that that molding was original. The quarter round is there to hide any mistakes that they did when they laid this flooring and that was not done well, which sometimes causes me concern because it makes me think that maybe the floor wasn't laid well either. Nice open room. Here you have your double sliders, but again, those are from 1989. Those are original. All the windows are original. Here's your eat-in kitchen area, your, your dining room. But like I was saying with these windows, albeit they look like they're in good shape, those are gonna have no R value to them. Okay, here you transition from the plank flooring, which looks really nice, into your original tile, which is a 12 by 12 tile. This room, you have the washer and dryer into the garage. Slop sink, original base grade cabinets, your washer and dryer, your hot water heater. This absolutely looks like a newer hot water heater, but again, I found no permits for this. So it tells me that they did a lot of work here on their own. It looks like it's done well. It has the catch pan, it has the pipe, it has the relief valve. 
but again, I found no permits. This is something to consider. All these outlets throughout the house, and I'll try to point some out to you. These are original. Okay, so these are from 1989. That's probably all needs replacement. So those are just little costs. You have linoleum in this room, which would have been original with the house. Off the main hallway, you have bathroom number two in its original condition. Fluorescent lighting. I'm not a fan of this. I just want to point it out. There are fluorescent tubes in here. The ballasts go bad. There's not much you can do to replace these plastic sheets. This is, this is hard to make this look more modern. Okay. Tile shower. Original steel tub. I'd say there's a little bit of play in the wall. That's kind of normal, but there are cracks in the grout. Cracks in the grout. I don't see water intrusion yet, but that would mean at the very minimum you'd have to regrout this and seal it. If you could go with not having the updated tile, maybe you want a different look, then you'd have to undress all this and probably leave the tub and then come back up. Everything else in here is clean. The paint is clean. The house overall is clean. It's just outdated. Little pantry. Again, you have, let's see if I can throw a light on here for you. Not much lighting in here. The ceiling fan doesn't have a light on it, so you're only getting the natural light here, but this is a dark walnut flooring. Again, it's laminate. It has the cord around on it too, which tells me that that's to make up for any errors that the installer made, which doesn't give me a ton of confidence. Here's a spot here, right there, where they did not cut the base out. They just cut around it. So they didn't slide the boards up underneath the base. They just jigsawed around it, which is a handyman's way of doing that. I don't see any gaps in the flooring or anything like that. So, I mean, the flooring is in good shape. I just question not going through the extra effort and doing the baseboards. That would have looked really nice. So, and then we come across the hallway to bedroom number three. And here we have carpeting. Carpeting looks original. Now you have a different ceiling fan in here. Air conditioner is blowing cold. But my guess is that's going to be a huge energy drain because that air conditioner probably has to blow 24-7 to keep up with this house. You have original fixtures here. But, you know, one of the things I noticed, you got one floor kind, two floor kinds, three floor kinds, and a fourth. Nothing matches. Most of my buyers, that drives them crazy. Then you've got one kind of ceiling fan, two kind of ceiling fans, and a third out in the kitchen. Okay, come into the kitchen. You have a little breakfast or a little desk here in the breakfast area. Little pantry again. Here's this lighting system. I'm gonna try to put the lights on here for you. You see how they kind of come all on when they get warmed up. Okay, you got one out, two out, maybe three and four out. This is really typical with these lights. And again, if you want to modernize this, bring this house out of 1989. You've got to have a contractor figure out a way to make this right angle from here to here and figure out how to resheet rock it, repaint it, make it look right, and then maybe put 
can lights or something. Here you have a fourth type of ceiling fan. Really, really big kitchen. This is a beautiful big kitchen. Corian double sink. Looks lovely. Stainless steel appliance. Then you've got a flat top stove that looks base grade. A GE double refrigerator. No microwave, but you got a counter microwave. Cupboards look great. But again, you've got one color, two colors, three colors. And then you got these beautiful countertops. So it's interesting. A nice little pass through. This is wonderful. Pass through for cooking. Food can come kind of in and out. Again, you've got all the electrical, which is old. I don't, oh, here we got a GFCI, so that's good. That is important. And then into another laminate floored room. Again with the uh, three, the quarter round molding. It's not my favorite. These are the original curtains that came with this house. Nice big room, nice big TV room. Some beautiful daylight coming through the skylight there. There's fan number five. Okay, then we got the sliding doors to the outside. Let's see how these work. Okay, these look like they were all really nice. This is important because they've had a lot of years on them. These do not tuck away. Oh, they do tuck away. So that's a nice feature. I wasn't expecting that. But those tuck away to completely open up this part of the house. And those will too. You see the way the framing is here? And then it goes on, it pushes on past the wall. One, two, three, four. All four of those doors will push away and those two doors. So this entire house will open up to the lanai. That's really nice. That is a great feature. I'm going to shut these doors so I don't kill their air conditioning bill. And again, I'm sliding this with one hand, which is wonderful. They don't always do that, so that's a bonus. Pebble Tech, again. I am not afraid of Pebble Tech. I actually really like Pebble Tech. Pebble Tech was the big thing here. And it wasn't only until about five, ten years ago that everybody started getting rid of Pebble Tech. Uh, this just needs a little work. If you like this and you reseal this and, and put a nice coating over it, this would be lovely. There's a little bit of work to be done around the coping of this pool. A few cracks right where the tiles meet the decking. Again, just wear and tear, but the pool looks lovely. Beautiful. You know, this is an older screened in lanai. This is obviously from Hurricane Charlie. So the screens would be pushing 20 years old. The cage is pushing 20 years old. All the fixtures that hold this together, you know, so that needs a little bit of love someday. Probably not immediately, but someday. Here you have hurricane protection through this whole room. That's handy. So everything outside can go in this room during a hurricane couple hours worth of work this is sealed up okay it's a good size space uh, here's fan number six in different styles they have three fans here but they're all different nice little entertaining space it's nice and cool here they have a TV hung here which is lovely They're Packer fans, which uh, that's important to me. So we'll give them a two thumbs up for being Packer fans. This is a huge house. There's a ton of space here. Okay, now we'll head over to the master suite. Fixture number five. 
five different floorings. Now this flooring is showing some age. There's some spots on this floor with the laminate flooring that as it gets moisture on it, whether it's mopping the floor, spilling, whatever, there are certain parts that kind of come up. I don't know if you can see this or not, but right there is one of them. But that's a sign of things to come. That means you just have a few short years left with that floor before you're going to want to replace it. Again, they've got the quarter round. This is that wall that had the cracking on the outside, that bump out wall. To give you an idea of this space. It's a humongous master bedroom. Again, this is going to open up October through April. You're going to be able to have these doors open, enjoy the fresh air. It's a wonderful feature. Huh? Fan number eight. It's a big space. And then into the original tile floor, into the master bathroom, you are going to have a huge walk in closet here. The flooring matches. Big walk-in closet, attic access here, air-conditioned closet, okay. bifold doors. You can only imagine is a pantry, linen closet. Okay, plenty of storage there, bifold doors, and then what I can imagine would be his closet. Well, because this is how it works at my house. Air conditioned, matching flooring, clothes rack. Okay. Gonna have a bifold door here for privacy. Into your master tub area. Beautiful big space, plant shelves, nice tub, the shower. Let's see if I can throw some light on in here. Here's your walk in shower. Again, we got some grout issues, some dirt. Most of the tiles look like they're in good shape. There's a little bit of grout coming out. It's a sign of age. There's a loose tile right here. That's not good. A couple of tiles over there. Looks like they've maybe done some replacing here. I could possibly need some updating here in this bathroom as well. You've got an old style light. Those aren't no fun anymore. Double vanity, this is all original. You got those same type of shop lights in there. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any GFCIs in this area, which that's not out of code for this age of a house, but that's something that you would have to install. There's a GFCI outlet here. Those can be anywhere from 15 to hundred dollars if an electrician puts them in for you. All right, so that's where we're at. Gonna just check this door. Make sure it's locked. And it is, okay. I'm gonna take you out to the garage and then I think that's gonna end this tour. Two-car garage. What I think we're gonna find. Put the light on. Okay, we have one light out here. You got some natural light coming through the door. Remember, I pointed that door out as being old. Okay, nice painted, sealed up garage. Everything in here looks good. This house did survive Hurricane Charlie. Okay. 
plenty of outlets out here. You got an original door. This door would have been built with the house. So you have a 1989 door, probably a 1989 Craftsman um, garage door lift. There's not much hurricane protection here. So, you know, at some point in time, you're gonna be looking at a garage door replacement of a couple thousand dollars or more. But I would say a couple thousand dollars, you can get a hurricane rated garage door, which will save you on insurance. I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with this electrical panel. This is, I had a wind mitigation test in 2012. I don't think you're going to have any issues with this electrical panel. This has been inspected in 2000, well, with the previous owner. They've owned this home for three years, so that was done by tailored inspections. I may be able to dig up their past report maybe a fee for that, but they may release the past report on this house. Here's your irrigation system. But all in all, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. If you have any questions about this house or any other houses, please feel free to contact myself or my partner, Aaron Dom at 941-626-2869. Thank you.